use the wider plug-in and also what to look out for using the multimeter. So the multimeter, if we click on it and click on the goniometer, will show us uh, the width of our track, the angle that everything is perceived at. So at the moment, with the wider plug-in turned off, we can see that the vast majority of the song is in the middle, with some of the uh, percussion elements veering off to the sides. We can also see the correlation meter, which tells us if our left channel and right channel are in phase with each other. If this goes to the left hand side, it means when our listener listens to music in mono, such as on a device that only has one speaker, the music will suffer and start to cancel itself out. So we want this correlation meter to go as far to the right as possible and never go to the left hand side. The plugin is super easy to use, you just turn it on choose how much width you would like to add. We can see the more width we add, the more we suffer in the correlation meter. If we go beyond 100%, we can see that it's going towards the middle and even further to the left, which means if our listener listens to music in one speaker, it will suffer and it might even cancel out certain elements. So keep it below 100%. The other thing worth knowing is that there is an ability to low bypass. What this means is we can select which frequencies will not be widened. And I would recommend setting these to 300. Anything below 300 will not be widened.